and joining me via Zoom to discuss on the World Health Organization's inclusion of Nigeria among six African countries is Dr. Obi Adigwe. He's a DG National Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development, NIPRID. You're welcome to Network News. Thank you, Jumei. And congratulations to Nigeria on that. Yes, absolutely. I think uh, it's a significant milestone uh, for Nigeria. Uh, scientists, policymakers, and senior government officials have been working very hard behind the scenes for upwards of 18 months uh, to ensure that when this sort of news begins to come to Africa, Nigeria's position as having uh, some of the highest capacities in terms of emerging as a hub for not just vaccines, but the entire pharmaceutical manufacturing uh, um, entity and uh, 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 supply supply on the continent uh, is, is, is realized. And I'm really glad that uh, out of the six, five, six countries selected, two from North Africa, two from West Africa, one from East Africa and one from Southern Africa, Nigeria's uh, position and its uh, capacity has been recognized. And your institute is saddled with the mandate of driving local production of vaccine. And if I can recall correctly, NIPRID received a federal government grant for that. Well, yes, NIPRID uh, received uh, a significant amount of inflow in the, uh, um, the uh, economic management uh, plan that was put together uh, by the government when COVID hit. Uh, that particular capacity was to take care of the entire R&D uh, spectrum. And based on that, we were able to bring in uh, a significant amount of new equipment. We purchased upwards of 100 new pieces of equipment. We were able to train over 1,000 uh, um, um, traditional medicine practitioners. We're able to upgrade uh, some of the infrastructure from uh, previously dilapidated to uh, near world class currently. And it, 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 it has actually added value to what the Institute is bringing to the fore. So it's not just uh, for uh, its competencies in vaccines, uh, R&D, but R&D as reflects uh, in the entire pharmaceutical value chain. Uh, and we've already started seeing the results. I'm sure you were uh, aware that uh, several ministers and uh, National Assembly members have paid on-site visits to the institutes uh, and uh, the products that we have begun to bring out to the market uh, uh, have, been, have been put up for display. So what do you expect following this positive outcome from the European African Union Summit? Well, the, the, the clue is in uh, what uh, Minister Onyama mentioned uh, earlier on. There needs to be more uh, proactivity amongst um, African uh, leaders, African scientists and African policymakers. Before COVID came on board for close to a decade now, we've been talking about medicine security and the need for Africans to take our own health care interventions in our own hands. And you've seen that when our president and a few other presidents on the country, people like Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, of uh, South Africa and uh, one or two others on the continent began to sing the same song. Uh, the Europeans and the Asians began to listen. And the paradigm has started shifting from let us manufacture in Europe, in Asia, and in North America and give to the Africans to a situation where you heard the EU top officials there saying that there is now a better appetite to, to, to enable Africans manufacture their own medicines. This particular uh, announcement is, 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 is a battle won, but I'm afraid it's not uh, the war that is being won because there is still a lot of work uh, that needs to be done. Several key areas which I can highlight here that uh, stakeholders need to make uh, note of is the first one, increased proactivity among stakeholders on the continent. Second one, a more intrepid approach in terms of uh, procurement uh, policy making. And the third one is uh, the fact that uh, scientists, policymakers, and top government officials need to be more uh, intrepid when it comes to undertaking contextual policies that will favor Africans. 
Well, a lot needs to be done, but one step at a time. Thank you so much, Dr. Obi Odigwe. He's a DG, National Institute of Statistical Research and Development, NIPRI. Thank you so much for your input. Thank you, Jume, and uh, glad to use the platform to uh, tell Nigerians what we're doing in the area. Have a good day. Exactly.